fascist and racist. But why not? We're really? not English! Last year, it looked like race riots were breaking out up and down the country once again. From the trouble sprang a new movement. The English Defence League, known as the EDL. EDL way, yeah? It's an organisation that claims to be non-racist and says it was created to combat one enemy, militant Islam. I've spent the last two months travelling around Britain to EDL demos, meeting the young men joining their cause and trying to find out what motivates them. We're not Nazis, we're English people, working class, millions of us out of work, we're not being listened to. Many claim that the EDL are just right-wing thugs. At EDL demos, violence and racism often overshadowed any political point. Why shouldn't people think they're just the same as the other right-wing groups you see in the past? Listen, I'm not BMP and I'm not racist. That's the main thing. And neither's the EDL. And there was something different about this new group. So what does the EDL stand for? And just how potent an organisation is it? I wanted to find out if the idea of multicultural Britain was dying. And what was really fueling the rise of the EDL. The English Defence League is just nine months old, and today the men of the EDL are about to make their most symbolic gesture yet by marching on Parliament. It's a big day for all concerned, but the EDL are nowhere to be seen. So, so far there are hundreds of police, uh, one police helicopter, quite a few journalists, and only about four or five EDL looking members wandering around. But we can hear a crowd somewhere singing England, England. They may look like football hooligans, but the EDL say they're very different. You press say we're racist, we're obviously not, are we? They claim to be non-violent, non-racist, and with a serious political point to make. I wanted to see if this was true. EDL leadership were determined that the march would go off peacefully. They've even introduced stewards, who were issued with a very particular set of instructions. We don't want to see anyone, any, anyone doing any Nazi salutes no, no, or no, fingers no. giving the press cheek, anything like that. We're not here to cause trouble. We're here to peacefully protest. England. 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 Cheers, boys. Yay! After a few quick pints, the EDL are ready to take their message to the country's seat of power. My old man said, try not to turn it back. And I said, bollocks, you The demo in Westminster was in support of a visit by Heert Wilders, a controversial Dutch MP and filmmaker who has called for a ban on the building of mosques, the wearing of burqas and all immigration from Muslim countries. 
It seems strange that young men like Aaron, who would normally spend their free time watching football, would suddenly be on the streets supporting a Dutch MP's right to freedom of speech. You should explain why you're here today. Uh, well, today, uh, Gert Wilders was uh, promoting his video Fitna, which is about uh, stopping the isla Islamisation of Europe. And um, we've, been, we've been marching all over Britain, really, to stop militant Islam. And basically, today, we're here to support... While I was trying to understand the EDL's message, the supporter hit the camera into my producer's face. Just punched him for no reason. What? And this was them on their best behaviour. Take your balance off, please. While we were carefully led past Parliament, Wilders was inside, screening his provocative film about Islam. The film shows brutal acts of violence committed by extremist Muslims intercut with quotes from the Quran. I have nothing against Muslims, I have nothing against any people whatsoever, but I have a problem with the Islamic ideology. I think it's a fascist ideology. I think we should stop the Islamization of our society. Wherever the EDL go, the UAF are never far behind. United Against Fascism are a collective of groups and individuals who campaign against the extreme right, and in particular, the BNP. They say that the EDL are no different, calling them Nazi racist thugs. When three black UAF supporters taunt some EDL demonstrators, their reaction was aggressive and racist. One even made monkey noises. The EDL seemed to be no different to the usual far-right groups. But as I walked through the crowd, I began to realise that things weren't quite so straightforward. They say they're racist, so they'd be surprised to see you here. I'm proving that they're not racist. I'm black and I'm proving that the EDL aren't racist. If you look at Monkey, you've got all colours, black. There's even Asian people here. The EDL aren't racist. They were especially proud of one particular supporter, Abdul, who had travelled all the way from Glasgow. Let me in for a few pictures. Hey, I'm dead, man. I think everybody here just got fed up with seeing the country get attacked again and again, no threats, and the people who are doing that are not really Muslims, they call themselves Muslims but they're extremists, because Islam doesn't teach you to uh, blow, blow up um, trains and, and kill anybody in that, so that's why. Are you Muslim? Well, I was born and bred as a Muslim, you know, but I'm a Muslim just by name, I'm not practicing or anything, you know. Even more prominent was Gurumit Singh, who is the face of the EDL leadership. I'm standing in front of you as one of the 12 leaders of the Defence League. The EDL cite Gurumit as proof they are not racist, but he hadn't quite understood the script. God bless every single person in this country of all religions, creeds and cultures. And you know what? Even God bless the Muslims. They'll need it for when they're burning in fucking hell. That wasn't an attack against militant Islam, the purported target of the demonstration, but against all Muslims. The stewards hadn't stopped the abuse I'd seen, but the EDL had, for the first time, marched non-violently. They even removed some troublemakers, including a steward who had been making abusive gestures in front of the cameras. The English Defence League were clearly trying to change their public image. 